We speak of Internet of Things or IoT when devices can communicate with each other and also servers via the Internet. That light, for instance, that you can switch on via the Internet, this is an example of IoT. So is the car heater that you can switch on with your smartphone, so the car is nice and warm when you step inside it. But does IoT have applications in supply chain management? Definitely. There are thousands of examples, but we're going to list just a few common ones as of 2023. By attaching RFID tags to assets, for instance containers, products or parcels, we can track them in real life. We know where they are. Now, if you've never seen an RFID tag, they come in a variety of forms, but often they resemble a small sticker that enables communication with sensors. Now, this technology is, generally speaking, quite cheap. IoT can also be used for maintenance. For instance, sensors attached to machinery, devices and vehicles can track their performance and automatically notify if repair or extra maintenance is needed. IoT can also be used for climate monitoring. Sensors can track climate conditions that goods are exposed to in real time. In practice, we are mostly interested in temperature and humidity levels. But sensors can track more than that alone. Now, this information can be stored. We can see what climate conditions goods were exposed to from the beginning to the end of the journey. Now, this is relevant not just for food, which is obvious, but also, for instance, for medicine. 